Hello, how are you? Welcome to CUO, where we promote empowering information about Africa and Africans and correct the misrepresentation of Africa and Africans. Today, I come to you regarding the recent development around land reforms in Zimbabwe. Um, last week, it was announced that 3.5 billion will be given in aid to Zimbabwe to pay to compensate farmers, white farmers, for land that was supposedly confiscated in the 80s under the Robert Mugabe's, late Robert Mugabe's led um, land reform. And um, just to start off, I think in Zimbabwe, there are white Zimbabweans and black Zimbabweans, and all must have equal access to full rights as citizens of that country. But what is disturbing about this is this. Where do we stand, start a competition? You know, how do these white farmers get the land in the first place? Were the blacks who lost lands to whites before the eighties be compensated? And as a humanitarian, an international humanitarian worker who advocates for humanitarian aid and assistance to population affected, I find it disturbing that aid is being used this way. Because what this means is that aid is being used to maintain white Zimbabweans privilege, to maintain white Zimbabweans economic access at the expense of blacks and that is not what aid is intended for. I find it really sad you know that the world can cruise along in this way in the midst of new awareness of how the historical impact of colonialism, economic exploitation of Africa, we can still sit very comfortably and watch Zimbabwe go through this. Now let's face this, Zimbabwe's economy has been crippled by years, decades of sanctions from Europe, mainly the UK and the United States, all to maintain white privilege, privilege access to land at the expense of blacks. Robert, let Robert Mugabe survived at least, I think, if not, you know, about six prime ministers, the United States, prime, United, UK, United Kingdom's prime ministers fighting to ensure economic rights for all Zimbabweans, not just privileged white farmers. He died last year. And why, yes, the land reform, Zimbabwe's land reform could be tweaked better, could be even managed better. Yes, it was rocky. It was a rocky step towards the right direction. And whatever achievement is being banked back, you know, rolled back to ensure white privilege. This is a tragedy. It, re it begs the question, really, though. What makes a great African leader? <laughs> we must keep our eyes open. Some of those that are demonized by the West, we want to ask why. Robert Mugabe dies. And suddenly, white farmers are being paid, given money for lands they took from blacks in the first place. Come on. Stay safe under COVID-19.